Hello and welcome to Quantum IAS. In this video, we are going to discuss the question that was posted on the 10th December on our website in the Delhi Answer Writing program. This question is also from the previous year question and that was asked in 2006 and it is from the mechanics module, right? Also, this is question from the topic center of mass. Okay, so we will start discussing this question. Before getting into it, I just want to tell you that we have two active course as of now. Uh, that is, first one is the foundation batch that start from the 15th December, that is already started. And the second one is the year long test series, right? We have 26 tests in this. And that starts from the, already started on the 3rd of January, right? So you can go and check the link in the description. I have made separate videos for these also. So you can check the link in the description for this video. Also, you can visit our website that is quantumis.com, right? Without delaying anything, just let's start our video discussion, question discussion, right? So this question is basically so that the mass, sorry, moment of mass about center of mass is zero, okay? So we have to define two things first here, okay? First, in the introduction, you should define what do you mean by center of mass? Okay, and you should define what do you mean by moment of mass? And when we say, tell you moment of mass, this is basically first moment of mass, right? I will tell you in due course of time, what is second moment of mass also. But the question is basically regarding the first moment of mass. If nothing is written, we have to consider that first moment of mass, right? So now center of mass, you know that center of mass is what? It's a basically imaginary point where you can say all masses are concentrated. So if you have a system, right, if this is a system, if you consider this is as a center of mass, right, so you can consider that all of the masses are considered there, right? Masses means that is inertia, right? So all the inertial property of the total mass can be assumed at this point, and this is basically hypothetical in nature, right? It's an imaginary point. Also, the force acting on the particle can be treated as at this position, and we can say that, and we will write in the conclusion also that, translational motion of a body is equal to what translational motion of center of mass right? we will write this in conclusion okay now let me explain what do you mean by the moment of mass first you can concise it and write in your answer but first understand what do you mean by moment so basically moment uh, is a generic thing and it means distance if you have you can define moment as mu n that is equals to r n into q this is what we call moment now what is q here so q is any physical quantity we can find the moment of any physical quantity right n is the power right so if n is one we call it first moment if n is 2, we call it second moment. If n is 3, we call it third. If n is 0, we call it mono or you can say zero moment, right? And this is basically what we call moment of that physical quantity, right? For example, torque is what? R cross F, right? So this torque is what? Moment of force, right? Angular momentum is basically what? R cross P. So angular momentum is what? Moment of the linear momentum, right? So in this way, you can find out these things, okay? Also, the first moment of mass is basically what you can say that mu is equals to R M or to say R I 
m i summation right this is a basically a good thing to write right so this is asked in our question moment of mass right so moment of mass of a system can be defined as the uh multiplication or product of that moment right with respect to a point right so r i basic should should have should have a point of reference where we are calculating this thing for example if this is m1 this is m2 and we are calculating from here so this will be what r1 this will be r2 right so from if we want to write the moment from here so we will write r1 m1 plus r2 m2 right so this will be what first moment of mass or simply moment of mass right so you can write it down that the moment of mass is basically the distance multiplied by the mass right uh treating a point of reference where we are considering the distance okay so simply you can say that mu is basically summation r i m i right so this is what also i want to tell you that the second moment of mass that we have also covered in our classes second moment of mass that is basically moment of inertia and you can very well understand this thing that i or you can say the mu 2 summation what r i whole square m i right you think i think you have studied this term right so this is a more familiar thing that you have studied the second moment of mass now but we have to give what give reference to this moment of mass and we have to prove that moment of mass around center of mass that is mu center of mass is equals to zero we have to prove this now let's do the calculation mu center of mass make a vector because it's a vector because r is a vector here so it's summation r i vector r vector sorry m i vector where i equals to 1 to n we can treat it right so from above you can say let us consider a system of n particles right so also one more thing you can mention it above also or i want to recall you if you have a system of n particles i think you know that r center of mass can be written as summation mi ri upon summation mi right i equals to 1 to n i equals to 1 to n you can write it right so u center of mass will be what ri center of mass into mi so it can be written as summation i equals to 1 to n mi r i center of mass can be written as r i minus r center of mass right you can skip the some of the mathematical calculation here just for the sake of convenience i am doing it here so it will be mi r i minus r center of mass is a constant thing so r center of mass into summation mi i equals to 1 to n now what is summation what is r center of mass here so r center of mass is this one here so if you will put this one here so what will be happen so it will be summation i equals to 1 to m mi ri now put r center of mass value of r center of mass put it here so it become what summation i equals to 1 n m i r i upon summation m i and we also have summation m i with us one to n so it will be get cancelled right and it will be cancelled and we will get what make it zero okay so you can simply say that moment of mass around center of mass is zero right. so you can conclude with this thing right the moment of mass around center of mass is zero also you can say that the total mass of a body is what is the zero moment of mass so these things you can add in the conclusion that is mu zero is what 
you can say that r to the power zero into m that is what m so mass of any system is basically what the zeroth moment of the mass also center of mass is the basically first moment of mass normalized by total mass so what we are going to say that that the r center of mass is basically what it is first moment of mass i1 r i m i normalized by the total mass right so this is the definition of what center of mass also right. so these things uh, you can write in the center of mass also what you can what else you can write that center of mass frame as mass moment is zero you can say that it's a zero momentum frame center of mass frame is basically what zero momentum frame you can uh, at this as we do have center of mass frame in our syllabus lab frame and center of mass frame and the transformation between them so you can write these word also you can write much more thing about the center of mass frame right the properties of center of mass frame you can add if you have time and space left right if this is your page and if you end up here you can write additional information here to fetch some additional marks okay so uh, that's end for this question now you can visit quantumis.com and then you can move to the what you can say the daily answer writing right and uh, you can upload your answer the more you upload your answer it will motivate me to make more videos on the solution part right so do post your answer in the question that were given there okay thank you and have a nice day